Hi guys, welcome to Adam at Collar TV. I'm Adam, this is Footy Manager Fridays and we continue our Manchester United career mode. We are into the month of September. Unfortunately, the month of September started off with the news that Bastian Schweinsteiger was out for up to six months, having picked up an injury in that game against Arsenal, which you guys saw us draw 2-2. We started off this the season not too bad we didn't lose any games although we dropped a few points in draws at home we were yet to grab our first home league victory um, but but we did get through in the Champions League to the group stages into September now and the first fixture was up against Crystal Palace we started off the month with another draw, although our 100% record on the road came to an end. We drew 1-1 at Crystal Palace with Anthony Martial grabbing the goal. It was a game that we dominated, as you can see, by the amount of efforts we had on goal. Unfortunately, couldn't get the breakthrough. Rooney was a sub as well as he was injured on international duty. Um, typical that, eh? Next up, it was that trip to Kiev to open our Champions League group stage, and we started off with a victory. Juan Mata getting the early goal. Dinamo Kiev had chances of their own and had dominated in terms of shots on goal. But that early goal sealed a professional 1-0 win on the road to start off with three points in our league. PSV won the other game 4-0. So they go straight to the top of the table. And we even got to give some game time to Andreas Pereira who came off the bench. Happy days. Then it was back to Old Trafford. And finally, we got that first victory of the league season at home at Old Trafford and what a result it was. 5-0 to Manchester United, Herrera Mata opening the scoring, Martial grabbing another two goals to continue his impressive start to the season and Memphis getting another goal having got the winner away from home at Villa Park. He got the final goal in a 5-0 rout against Stoke. Unfortunately Mata picked up a knock and Lingard came on but we went into fourth and after six games, it was three wins and three draws, no defeats. Not a bad start to the season. Then we had the Capital One Cup and we had a tricky tie to be fair, an away trip against Newcastle at St. James's Park. We got that victory with two first half Anthony Martial goals. I did rest a lot of players, the likes of Valdez, McNair, Young, Valencia, Wilson, all started, Rooney got a rest and Martial's two goals meant it was nine in nine for him. Newcastle did go close to taking us the extra time. They got that goal just after the break with half an hour left and put the pressure on but fortunately we saw it out and we got through that. Next up in the cup we've got Ipswich away so another away tie but a decent tie and hopefully I'll be able to play a few of the youngsters yet again. Come on lads! Following that away victory it was another 2-1 away victory on the road. Same result that United got in real life this season with Bastian Schweinsteiger getting a late goal. But it was United who took the lead 2-0 up after Wayne Rooney and Chris Smalling got the goals. Watford did hit back and it was dangerous at times. But I switched it up to 4-3-3 the first time I've gone with that this season to see the game out. It means we're now joint third, two points off the top spot. So we're not far off the top spot. Decent start to the season. And next up, We've got PSV Eindhoven at home. Let's hope we can see it out and make sure that we haven't lost yet. We've been through August, been through September without a defeat. Can we wrap it up with a victory at home in the Champions League against PSV Eindhoven? Something that United couldn't do in real life. Let's see what happens. Right then, you can see my team. I have opted for a slight change in tactics yet again. It's a 4-2-4, 4-4-2 kind of formation. I've brought Memphis back into the team, having started Ashley Young in the last game against Watford. So let's see how he can do in this one. Not many changes though. Marcus Rojo was injured in the last game against Watford. He's only out for a couple of days though, so he'll miss this game, but he'll be straight back after this one. Let's see how we do. And can we make it two wins out of two in the championship? Come on, lads! Oh! Ooh! PSV nearly got the early breakthrough. Um, one offside, fortunately. Oh, we've got a corner. Have a pop, Schneidlin. Memphis! Nearly grabbed a goal against his former club. 
Been scoring a lot of goals. As I said, Martial's got 99 at the minute. Wayne Rooney's not been in the greatest goal scoring form, but he's getting goals. Oh, there we go. Martial again. 10 in 10 for him now. Absolute phenomenal start to the season for him. And we've got off early doors. Five minutes in, 1-0. Well done, Reds. Oh, the through again, the young. Ooh, skied it. Go on, Waz. Good ball, Marshall. Matello! Oh! What a goal! Seven minutes in, 2 0. Easy. Far from what happened at Old Trafford this season. Far from what happened at Old Trafford this season. They're having a lot of shots from distance. Nothing troubling De Gea yet. De Gea taking the goal kick. Go on, Waza. Ooh. Nearly three. Not long till half time now. <sighs> That's all they're doing, shooting from distance. I think this 4 2 4 could be the one at home, especially at home. Narsing, one of their most threatening players, has picked up a knock. 2 0. Calm as a cucumber, or cool as a cucumber, whatever it should be. Very happy with the way things are going. Keep it up, lads. I'm going to make a few substitutions if we don't concede early doors. Um, so far, so good. And it looks like I'm going to see September out without a defeat yet. If only we hadn't drawn those two games against Liverpool and Arsenal at home, eh? Go on, Marshall. Run at him. Is Memphis going to add to his assist and get a goal against his old club? Scored recently in the 5-0 win against Stoke. Go on, Waza. Waza's only got one goal this season so far. Well, one goal in September, sorry. Marshall's now got six in the month. Rudy! Ooh. Offside. Let's make a sub. See who we can bring on. Bring in Mickey Carrick for and actually for Morgan Schneiderlin. He's played a lot of games recently. Um, and Phil Jones's sharpness isn't there yet, so we'll take him off for daily blind. Leave things as they are. 30 minutes to go. <laughs> Top of the league as well at the moment. Ball. Played Marshall. Rudy! I was saying he's only got one for September. Make that two for September now for Wayne Rooney. That's the three points in the bag, surely. Let's bring on Jesse Lingard. Um, leave Memphis on. Let's hope he gets a goal. Take off Mata. Happy days. Don't let them score. I want a clean sheet. On another clean sheet. Can
Can we get another goal? Still 10 minutes to go. Um, go on. Go on, Matteo. Bang! Is that Carrick? Good defending lads. They've had a lot of ball in the last five minutes. I don't want to concede, so I'm going to try to control the game a little bit more than I am at the moment. Come, become a little bit complete. Oh shit. He's missed that. Come on, Memphis lad. Substitution seem to have. Well done, Luke. And the Herrera falling over himself. Play block. There we go. 3.3 goals. None conceded. Happy with that. Didn't see the game at the best. So that's it. Three points at home. The first home game in the Champions League. 3-0 against PSV Eindhoven. And I go top of the group after two games. I'm the only team to have won both my games in the group. Happy with that. Um... So there we have it guys, September is done. Six games played, five games won, one game drawn, 14 goals we've scored and three conceded. Anthony Martial getting six goals, that's 10 in 10 games for him now. He's been phenomenal for United so far this season. If you have a look at his stats there, 11 played, sorry, so not 10 in 10, 11 played, 10 goals, five assists, He's looking like an absolute beast at the moment. Wayne Rooney also got two goals this, this month and Juan Mata got three. You can see we're sitting pretty in our Champions League group. We've got Ipswich away in the fourth round of the Capital One Cup and we're two points off Chelsea. We're in fourth position, joint third spot with Arsenal. Man City are a point ahead of us and Chelsea two points ahead after seven games in the league season. We haven't lost yet though. Let me just reiterate that. In the next video, guys, we'll find out how we get on in October. October sees us have Swansea at home, Man City away in the league, Stuart Bucharest at home in the Champions League, then we go West Brom at home, Ipswich away in the Capital One Cup, and of course, a difficult trip to Goodison Park as well. Guys, if you want to keep up to date with all of that, make sure you subscribe to Adam Matt Colder TV. Like, share, and comment as well. See you later.